Dave Tanner gave up the four runs early on, but he settled in nicely after that. Do you view this, despite the result, as kind of a building block outing for him? Absolutely. Um, regardless of the first you know, two innings, he pitched well, really well. And uh, that's, that's progress, and that's good for us. So if he continues to do that, um, we're going to be in good shape. Did you see anything big change between you know the first two innings and the last thing? I, I, re I really believe that he just slowed down a little bit, and uh, he started pitching. You know, and and uh, he, he looked great. And I told him, I just talked, said right now, I said, hey, great job. I said, you did well. David, what, what do you kind of make of this up and down stretch? You guys been back and forth from 500 for a while now for these last 10 days. We we need to be more consistent with our at-bats, especially runners in scoring position. Um, we tend to hit home runs in situations like that. You know, that's how we get our runs. But we we, we just got to put the ball in play every now and then, just get base hits. I and mean, that's, that's what it boils down to. We left so many men on base today. And uh, we just got to figure out how to just get, you know, we just need to hit. You know, just keep, you know, get on for the next guy and get on for the next guy. You know, eventually somebody, will, you know, will hit a home run like Matt. But, you know, uh, we got to figure out a way to get guys in, uh, get guys over. Or, uh, we had a guy on second base today with no outs. You know, he stayed there. So um, those are the little things I always talk about that we need to do better. Sort of in the little things vein, it looked like Bryce didn't kind of stop running on a double play ball there. What, what was your take on that? And um, That's a conversation that Bryce and I will have tomorrow. Um, yeah, he didn't, he didn't run that ball out the way I want him to, so we'll talk about it tomorrow. That's pretty out of character for him, though, right? He has his reputation of being someone who almost plays too hard sometimes, right? Yeah, I mean, he's played, I mean, he, he, hey, look, I got no beef with Bryce. I mean, uh, Bryce comes every day to play. Um, try to give him days off, no want days off. He, you know, he tries to win. He wants to win. That's that's who he is. So, um, you know, like I said, we'll have a conversation about it tomorrow. It wasn't anything physical that he felt? No, no, no. I just think, you know, out of frustration, you know, he hit the ball hard. I mean, he crushed the ball, and uh, it was... It, was going to be a double play. <laughs> yeah. You talk about uh, how aggressive mistakes sometimes are, are okay mistakes in in the scale of them. Do you, the defo play, moving up on the ground ball, kind of right at him there uh, when he was a second. How do you kind of view that one? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's something where he, he he needs to take a look to see where where the shortstop's playing. You know, and uh, if he does that, he goes back to you know he goes back to second base. Um, but then again, you know, I know he's trying to play aggressive, trying to get the third. Uh, but you, you just gotta be patient. I mean, those that, situations with down, you know, just let, let's not run into outs. Yeah, when you talk about um, not relying on the home run so much, that's a problem that that isn't specific to you guys. A lot of teams have that. Is that difficult to correct in season? Is that an approach thing? Or? Well, I think we, I think we have uh, pretty good hitters, professional hitters, um, and we worked it up. You know, we worked good at bats. But, you know, like I said, sometimes, you know, especially with two strikes, you know, just moving the ball, you know, counts. And um, and who knows what will happen, you know. I mean, anything can happen. So um, those situations, you know, it's just about just going up there and maybe shorting down your swing or something and just trying to move the ball. Still both tomorrow starting? Yes, both will start tomorrow. Actually, looking forward to watching him pitch. He's been up here a few times now. So uh, looking forward to that one. Did, did, did Syndergaard look like the guy that he that he was before he was back from about a month or so from off the DL? You know, he was, he was pretty sharp the first few innings. And I, about the fourth inning, you could tell he got, he got a little tired, you know, from what I was saying. But he's good. I mean, he's got good stuff, you know. So, um, you know, you don't ever want anybody to be injured, that's for sure. So, uh, and you want to compete against the best. So, and, and he's one of the best.